What is going on, Cuse Nation? Welcome back to yet another edition of Bleed Orange. My name, Landon Cook, as always, alongside your co-host, Lucas Tarquinio, and a special guest today, Sam Swart. Played lacrosse at Syracuse for five years, plays for Team United States of America for lacrosse, and a newest addition to the field hockey team. How are you doing, Sam? I'm good. How are you guys? <laughs> good, good. So I, I'm, I've been wondering. What is it like playing for Team USA? You know, it's so cool. Um, it's such like an honor, honestly. Like you're playing for your country, so you're playing for something greater than yourself. And you know, the best yeah. part is looking into the stands and seeing all the young kids, and it's just inspiring and it's just amazing to be out there. Awesome. Yeah. So when you're out there, what is it? What is like, does it feel surreal when you're out there on the field? Like you like you said, you're representing your country, you're representing your nation. What is it like playing out there? when the game's going on or yeah, do you not even like, think about it no yeah it's definitely a different feeling and like I said you're playing for your country so the national anthem's playing it's like it's a different feeling than just playing on a regular college game so it's like I said it's an honor it's a different feeling for sure yeah yeah so um what is your game day routine like so if you were to say from the morning you woke up on game day to um the night after the game what what would you say your game day game day routine is from the moment you wake up oh god that's a very detailed question so um I'm very superstitious so you know obviously hanging my jersey up before the game um you know I I eat a dove bar chocolate dove bar for every game and an orange soda an orange soda for every game I'm very detailed so um just like little things I wear the same sweatshirt before every game um same sweat Syracuse sweatpants that I've worn all four years five years now oh my gosh um but you know it's just very like I'm very superstitious so I have my certain routine like I kind of just mentioned but it's a long very long process I don't know if the show has enough time for that but um (laughs) superstitious things like that nice Lucas you got any superstitions um no um I don't believe in that stuff (laughs) you don't (laughs) know I, I know I, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Just a little yeah. stitious. Just a little Lucas, bit. Lucas, what do yeah. you got for Sam? Um, what is the transition like from lacrosse to field hockey? Um, it's a pretty easy transition, you know. Obviously, lacrosse is up here and field hockey is down low, but um, the moves are the same. The, you know, kind of preparing for the games are the same. Um, Agility-wise is the same, but um, all in of itself, it's pretty much the same, but just a little bit, you know, more disciplined in field hockey than lacrosse. More disciplined, huh? Yeah. How? How, how is um, it? Yeah. So it's just like the structure of Philaki is more like, um, you know, more dynamic and more structured and lacrosse is more like kind of freelance and unique. So in lacrosse, you kind of make it how you want it. And Philaki is more of like a team sport. You need each other to succeed. So it's more like structured like that. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. So if you were to say you like to sport more, what, what are we going with here? Field oh, hockey, God. lacrosse, or? <laughs> um, no, I can't really pick which sport I like better, but whatever season I'm in, that's the season I'll pick. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, yeah, yeah favorite memory now there's a lot to choose from I bet been through a lot do a lot of stuff if you were to say you had a favorite many memory at college what would that memory be with your teammates or even alone what would it be um I think the first one that sticks out in my mind is going to a national championship final four yeah. um for sure that was such a surreal moment um definitely that moment like it was just the happiest moment I've ever seen my teammates and myself and you know even though we didn't win at the end that's it's obviously not okay, but um, we didn't win in the end, but it was still like a really cool moment and definitely something I wish I could do it again, but you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lucas, what, what do you had a question for about uh, the national championship? What would you have for? Yeah. Um, what was it like falling short of the national title? Uh, Lucas, you're killing me there. <laughs> um, no, it's, you know, it was a really horrible feeling to, you know, obviously lose a national championship, but the fact that we were there as a team and, you know, honestly for myself, the fact that I made it that far was really an accomplishment in itself. Yeah. So um, obviously didn't win, but still have a lot of great memories coming from that and life experiences that I'll never forget. Yeah. So what was the locker room like after that? Like, It's got to be a ton of mixed emotions. Like you just said, you fell short of a national title. Yes. But the team under a new head coach, made it all the way to the national title in year one. So what was, what was the feel like after the game? Um, You know, it was, it was, it was a good accomplishment, I think for everybody. And, you know, there was a lot of fifth years and sixth years on the team that 
like for this was my last year on the team. So um, it was definitely heartbreaking, but you know, I still yeah. made it that far and that's something I'll never forget. Yeah, for sure. Now, um, superstition. I know you said that you are superstitious. So besides, you know, the orange sodas or the dove chocolate bars or the Jersey hang, what else do you got? Um, let's see. A night before I eat a lot, like it's bad. Like I'm a girl, I should not be eating that much, but I'm a big steak, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, pasta, right. the whole nine. I, I'll probably eat, I'll eat both of you guys the night before a game. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm big on food, big on fuel and a lot of water. I'm always drinking water. So, um, no, but definitely a lot of food before the games. Um, you know, superstitions. I walk on the, ugh, Lucas is not going to like this because he doesn't believe in it, but I walk on the field and touch the 50 yard line three times for each game. People probably think I'm crazy. Yeah, out there. Okay. I'm serious. Um, you know, just silly things like that. Um, it's crazy. I can't even think of them right now because there's so many, but once I'm in the locker room, it just kind of all flows. So. Huh. So you ever, so is there like any superstitions, I guess you've tried before and that didn't work that you just got rid of? Like, I'm never doing that again. Oh yeah. hundred percent. For example, it sounds crazy. We, me and my friend, we used to, uh, my friends and I used to walk and touch the net and then we, we lost a game. We were like, oh, we're never doing that again, you know? <laughs> uh, but silly things like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lucas, you don't, you're not superstitious at all. Nothing. Um, sometimes it comes. I don't know. Come on, Lucas. You got to do that, man. I mean, I, I'm not really into it. Not into it. You're not maybe, even a little maybe after this. After this, you will be. Yeah, Sam's your inspiration, Lucas. You gotta, you gotta get going here. You Come know, on. whether it's the polka dotted socks, the tie dyed headphones, the <laughs> hairspray, right? <laughs> yeah, Lucas, you can't tell me that's all natural. You can't. You can't <laughs> tell me. You can't. You can't. Now, if you were to have any inspirational advice for a young athlete who wanted to be in your shoes, what what would that inspirational advice be? Um, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is like, don't like, it's okay to be kind of different and unique. You know, um, I think for me taking on a different sport in a D one college, top three program, like yeah. that's something not many people do. And at first I was a little, I was never really hesitant, but it's definitely a unique experience. And, um, for myself, it's something like a pride thing. So like I always said in the beginning of college, like I'm going to play two sports. I'm going to play two sports. And everyone's like, you know, whatever, yada, yada. She's just talking, but it's a pride thing. And then it came to the end. I was like, I'm going to play two sports, you know? So yeah. I think all of itself, it's don't be afraid to be fearless and, you know, kind of go against the crowd when you're playing sports. Don't, don't mesh in with them, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're an athlete. You, you're, athletes are meant to play more than one sport, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. So be fearless and do unique things. Lucas, what else you got for Sam? Um, so you know how you t we love we love eating food. Yes. Favorite spot to eat on Syracuse campus. <sighs> Lucas with the tough questions. Good question. <laughs> um, I think my favorite spot to eat at Syracuse. Let's see. I gotta go with Tully's. Have you guys been there? Yeah. Tully's. Yeah, I love Tully's. Really, Tully's, Tully's yeah. of all places. Okay. Tully's or I gotta uh, or B Dubs. Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. You're all about the yeah. commercial. Not no. What about like the pita pits? What about the varsities of the world? Uh, Varsity is good. You know, I don't really make my much much over to Marshall Street all the time. Um, I'm kind of like a downtown kind of girl. Eerie, eerie. You know, I'm over there. Okay. <laughs> all right. Buffalo Wild Wings and what? Tully's. B Dubs. Tully's. Yeah. What's your Tully's order? Chicken Tully's tenders. order. Um, obviously chicken noodle soup and buffalo chicken noodle soup. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. I Interesting. Totally like any weird thing. No tenders at Tully's? No, I get the, the buffalo tenders. Okay, buffalo tenders. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. As long as it's that, I'm more of a pita pit guy. Like, I, pita you know, pita pit? Oh, I know pita pit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Marshall, that's my go to. That's my superstition before all yeah. the SU football and lacrosse games. Yeah, awesome. Got to go to pita pit, get a pita. Good luck. If they mess it up, it's over. Like, we lose the game because we lost. I mean, yeah. that's just how it works, you know? Yeah. Anything awesome. else, Lucas? You good? Um, I got one more question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why Syracuse? Oof. Why Syracuse? Um, 
Why not Syracuse? Why not Syracuse, Luke? No, you tell me that. why not. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. Well, I committed to Syracuse in eighth grade. That was way before the rules were different, obviously now. But um, I committed to Syracuse when I was in eighth grade. Um, yeah, wow, long time ago. But um, <laughs> I just love the culture at Syracuse and the family. And really, Gary Gate kind of brought me in as one of his own daughters. And you know, how could I ever say no to that? Um, also, it's really close to home. I'm a homebody, so it was only three hours from my home in Philly. So um, it's really something that was hard to turn down. And you know, the environment and the family. And I love Carmela Anthony. So Carmela, that, that was my big grabber back then because I was a big basketball player. So um, no. Okay. All of, all of it went back to Gary Gate and kind of how he treated me as a person and on and off the field. So definitely that's why. Now, what was your mindset like to get you to where you got to be? Like you got to, to commit in eighth grade, especially. I mean, it's got to be a special talent to, to commit that young. I mean, even though the rules change and all that, that, it takes a lot of talent and obviously a lot of hard work. What did you tell yourself? How did you get through those hard days? What did you do when you said you didn't want to do it? And just kept doing it. Um, I think it all goes back to kind of like dedication and love of the game. You know, I don't think I ever lost love of the game. I mean, I've been playing for a really long time now, but there's never been a day where I like kind of hate the sport. And I think that all goes back to just um, dedication and like where I was, where I all started. And I always think about when I was younger, like how proud I make my, I would make myself right now. So um, yeah. it's always about looking back and kind of making yourself proud and like, you know, being happy for yourself. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, Thanks for coming on the show, Sam. I really sure. appreciate it. Yeah, it was awesome. You guys are doing great make, things here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure to go check her out. She's Syracuse field hockey. Syracuse. She was Syracuse lacrosse. Hopefully you got to go see her. She was a sight to see all those five years, right? Yeah, five years. <laughs> five years. So a lot of special games, a lot of special talent right here in this room. Thanks for joining us today, Sam. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah.